Yeah, fire away. How did Harrison look yesterday? Uh, he looked good. Uh, you know, we got to see how he responds. You know, he's he's going to kick again today, and and uh, you know, put a little bit more on him, and uh, I think he looks pretty good. We'll see. I don't know if we asked you this a couple weeks ago, Dave, but is there an easier transition with Matthew being the third guy just because you guys had him a couple years ago? With yeah, the familiarity? It's, it definitely helps. I mean, him, uh, you know, knowing uh, you know how we do things, prepare and. Uh, you know how we practice and what we expect of him. That all that all helped for sure. And, and then he's a veteran too. He's been in a lot of places. It wasn't like he was, um, you know, a rookie coming off the street. You know, he was he was a guy that done it before in big games, in games, I should say. Uh, none bigger than that one. That was <laughs> that was huge right there. What was your view as the kick went up? And going I thought he it? missed it. You know, I you know the way it came off his foot. You know, if it was any deeper, obviously he would have missed it. But um, you know, it's a big kick. It's a lot of pressure on him. I was as proud of him that he made the 50, the 47, and the 33. I think it was. I mean, the 50 was none, no bigger kick than that one. I mean, to go to take the lead right there. You know, that was a that was a big kick too as well. So just consider how many stops he's had. Just what does it mean for him to win the weekly award? Yeah, that was huge for him. I mean, it's going to help him down the road. Uh, you know, eventually Bucker's coming back, and you know we can't have three kickers. I mean, so he's gonna. Uh, it might help him get a job down the road. You know, I mean, he he deserves it. What's he got to do at this point to get a, to, to get, get a job? Yeah. Um, probably, um, you know, keep making his field goals. I mean, that's number one. Uh, and then probably work on his kickoffs a little bit more. You know, be able to uh, bang a touchback. You know. Uh, he can he can certainly kick off with the new rules into the target zone. That that can be done, but in the cold weather, you got to you got to be able to try to get one deep. You know, you got to be able to get them deep, and uh, that's probably where he needs to work. What was your take on what happened with the Chargers and their mistake late game to just um, the penalty to get you guys to the forty? Oh, um, I think they just uh, we shifted our front to a, to a, a left uh, overload left, and they uh, adjusted to a right kick. I, he just missed hit the, the kick. He tried to kick it to our right. And, uh, you know, obviously, it's a huge mistake. Did, you, did, you, does Justin get kickoffs during the week, all this yes. week? Yeah, he'll get kickoffs today. Yep, yeah. he does. And it was just a leg strength thing is why he Yeah, we just, we just felt like he could get the ball um, down to the goal line. You know, that's where you want to get it at least. I mean, you could cover I mean, with, with Justin, too, as well. I mean, he's a better right. cover guy, which is a big – that's a big advantage. But it's really about the leg strength, getting the ball down to the goal line or into the end zone. To make him, you know, go go more, go further instead of giving him giving it to him at the ten, catch it at the ten, coming forward. That's not good. Dude, what did you see from Nico Romeo as a returner? Yeah, he did a really good job. Um, showed a lot of poise out there. Uh, good square catches, good decisions. Um, uh, that great. It was really good. That pooch punt where they, you know, the middle. He even tricked some of our guys. Like our some of our guys were like they they thought he made a fair catch and he stole it. You know, it was a great decision on his part. Uh, we got to do a better job of blocking for him, finishing it up, and keep blocking to the whistle with him because he he will take a little bit more of a risk, but he's smart too at the same time. And uh, really, really good job, I thought. How, how, how impressive is it for him to be down so many weeks and then just be ready to? He's been practicing. You know, the thing about him is that um, he practices hard. You know, he does a lot of extra stuff out there that nobody really sees, and, and he was prepared. You know, he was prepared mentally for this, he, and then very excited. Yeah. Where, where did where did the, that? Punt of Verizon rank in the kind of all time. That was a great punt. That was a, it was, um, you know, the wind was blowing hard right to left, and, you know, he just, he caught it right on his foot, and that's it. I mean, on the correct side of his foot, and that thing just, it took off, and it was a great way to start that game for him because we knew, you know, what kind of returner Dar you know, Darius Davis was, and we needed to try to, you know, control him and, and keep him limited, and he had no, he had zero returns. You know, Matt Ariza had a great game in that game. We're going to go last three. We'll start with Matt and then Nick and Paul. Uh, with all the different kickers this year and the big time moments you needed them, what's to yeah. say about James and Matt? They've been able to not Yeah, it says a lot. I, say, I think I said something last week about that. Those guys deserve a lot of credit. You know, Matt being able to adjust, you know, the holder is, is huge, you know, with new kickers. They have to, they have it, you know, they want that ball a certain way. And he, he's able to just dial it up real quick. And then James being consistent with his snaps, as he always is. Uh, you know, they're both veterans and. You know, it was those guys were a huge part of, of our success with the backup kickers.
Yeah. With with Harrison potentially the three games in ten days, how much do you have to kind of weigh that for when you um, officially bring him back? Well, if Harrison is back, he's back. You know, I think he'll get better and better as we, as we keep kicking more. Um, he just started kicking again, and he's, he's starting to feel better. He's starting to get his power back, and it's going to be a little bit before we, he, you know, he's 100%. Uh, I'd say probably maybe two, three weeks, and then we hit the ground running right in time for playoffs. So, but we got to get him back on that horse. We got to get him back out there and going again. I mean, he had surgery on his knee, so you know we got to remember that. So you know we got to manage him well. Last one. Uh, couple, I, I guess Justin will kick off again this week, likely. Uh, yeah, likely. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, the good thing is we have that option, and uh, you know, he loves it. <laughs> he absolutely loves it. <laughs> What's the danger factor with Cleveland? What are their return games like? They they're very good. I mean, um, you know, I, I know I say it every week, but but I'm at the, you know they, you know, they're dangerous. I mean, they they got a lot of good football players out there, and the cold weather always is a, is a problem. The rain. I mean, I, I mean, the ball miss hit whatever they get the ball in their hands. So, you know, it's going to be tough. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks. thanks.